So I'm just walking down from Margao to the bus stand, which is about a kilometer and a half outside the city, outside the town. Earlier the buses used to leave from inside town. Uh, they still, some of them drop you there depending on what time your bus reaches Margao. Otherwise you have to catch a city bus and, and uh, reach in. It's a little bit uncomfortable if you if you need to make one or two stops on the way because the buses may not stop where you need to get down or where you have your work. So which is why I'm walking. It's a pleasant walk. 27th, 28th of June 2022. Although it's a monsoon, it's a sunny day. Pleasant walk. Then once I reach the bus stand, I stand in queue, book a ticket and take the express bus to Panjim. I don't uh, like to get my own two-wheeler, you know, it's the road is too crowded and uh, you can't dream and you can't sleep if you're riding. So these people, uh, probably migrant workers, managing in the monsoons in these conditions, it's tough. It's about 12, just after 12. Which means that uh, the lunch break rush is picking up. There's always some kind of a rush or the other here. It's a crowded, crowded part of the world. Lot of things happening, lot of people coming and going. So I came in at about 9. That was the office rush. And uh, then I reached my bookshop at about 11. Uh, people were just getting into the bookshop then. That's not a complaint, that's fine. So, these are the new buildings that have come up here in the last decade or two. Whoever has been sitting over the urban planning decisions have made, has made a killing, obviously. Because this was field area, so if you convert field into commercial, there's a huge up hike in the in the real estate values which is why politics is so hotly fought over in Goa it's not so much to do with temples and churches and all that that's the mass but there's a lot of uh, real money going around in the real estate world So we are getting to the bus stand. There may or there may not be a queue there. We hop into the bus. Uh, ticket is about 50 rupees for uh, 30 kilometers. Not bad, not bad at all. My concern is different. My concern is that uh, there's a huge wastage of public resources going on and uh, the public transport is not even covering covering uh, the cost of uh, maintenance and forget about the capital investment on all these huge uh, you know air conditioned luxury buses battery driven supposedly eco friendly but costly to maintain also So the buses leave from here. This is the exit to the bus stand. Pay parking I guess. Uh, two wheeler pay parking.
this is a bus stand itself uh, outside here two wheeler motorcycle taxis so goa is one of the few places where they have two wheeler taxis i took one this morning and it cost me 400 rupees for a distance for a ride of about no he asked me where i want to go so it cost me about 400 rupees for a ride of 20 or yeah 20 kilometers or 15 kilometers no so i look like the kind of guy who would take a bike apparently rickshaws yeah that's it this is the back this is the back entrance and this is where you book your ticket there is a queue Thank you.